the Guyana Police Force confirmed to Guyana that a criminal network involving Chinese nationals was dismantled by a intelligent-led operation. Viewers and subscribers, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, Guyanese News, where we give you unbiased, unfiltered news about Guyana. Today we have two trending topics we are going to discuss. It is good to report that the Guyana Police Force along with the Suku have busted and confiscated $39 million along with an illegal firearm from three Chinese nationals, two men and one woman. Why this is so important? The news has been focusing on Mohammed, saying that Mohammed is the top gold smuggler out of Guyana. Now we really see what is going on. These Chinese nationals in this country, they are not doing supermarket alone. They are interested in Guyana natural resource. And this is not the first time that these Chinese nationals have been busted with gold smuggling. The Chinese nationals has been doing a lot of illegal activities in Guyana. It is also alleged that the Chinese nationals them is involved in bringing mercury, quicksilver in the country. And the quicksilver does be using in the Bagam for gold mining. But it is very dangerous and that is illegal. And the Chinese nationals them again all over it. The reason why these Chinese nationals have been given the reign to do so many illegal activities in our country is because the Guyana police force don't really focus on Chinese committing crimes. And in China, we know what is going on, but we are speaking about Guyana. So the Guyana police force with an intelligent-led operation at a city hotel run in and confiscated and arrested two Chinese nationals a illegal firearm and 39 million dollars and according to the Guyana police force this is an international organization international crime organization that was dismantled in Guyana so right now the Guyana police force is going to pay more attention to this Chinese supermarket who has been dominating the local business them in Guyana every corner every two miles there is a chinese supermarket flooding the area and the small business them cannot get any support they have to wait till 10 o'clock in the night and then again the chinese them now smuggling out the gold of guyana that is the reason why we need to get more security and vet these chinese who is doing business in guyana but the Guyana police force is paying close attention concerning this gold smuggling because according to what the government is saying there is no money in the Guyana gold board most of the gold that leaving Guyana does not register at the gold board so we could get taxes even Mohammed then claim over oh, 50 million dollars in taxes and the richest man Jack Mohan who was the 2018 most gold in Guyana as a gold dealer did he pay his rightful amount of taxes well these are the questions where the FBI is going to answer and these Chinese nationals who have been arrested they are going to answer a lot of questions a lot of questions they are going to answer because we know if you're coming Guyana and you're doing gold business and gold smuggling there is going to be local people in Guyana who helping out and them is the person who the Guyana police force is going to arrest because Chinese can come from all over the world coming Guyana 39 million dollars doing gold smuggling and not Guyanese not helping that is the question these Chinese going to answer remember this is Guyanese news where we deliver unbiased unfiltered Guyanese content please subscribe to this YouTube channel give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section among others so she she take bribe from other people too allegedly in exchange for cash payments and high value gifts thomas misused her position of to influence the award of official contract bids and the approval processes for weapons permit 
I keep telling y'all they're stockpiling weapons. There are two militias, two organizations, so-called security forces that U.S. officials believe are militias. And we know that they're there to back up the PVP in case there's a riot. They can go and shoot black people. If there's a riot or if there's some civil disobedience sparked by racism, U.S. officials categorize those two companies, security companies, as militias. They're getting weapons. They're now distributors. They have weapons distribution license. That means they could buy in bulk. Weapons permit, contracts, passports. Y'all remember a member of the Muhammad family had hit down somebody? Not a charge. Not a charge. Allegations of who shot paper shards up to now. Police can't get no information. That car, that person shot paper shards outside of the president's house. Passed five police stations and went up to East Bank. That is not happenstance. That is not coincidence. That is facilitated. Office of Foreign Asset Control of the U.S. Department of Treasury designated Mohammed Enterprise and Azrudin as a person for that is Rick Ford Borg giving us some inside information about all of the scandal that is taking place in Guyana. We know Rick Ford Borg is a very outspoken Guyanese social media influencer and don't shy away in exposing the vice president. He's saying a lot of things. Maybe this information is truth or maybe it is misleading. But we know Rick Ford Berg have a lot of sources and that is why he cannot return to Guyana. And that is one of the reasons why Guyana signed the Fugitive Act with America. Meaning that soon time, people is going to be extradited to Guyana. Even Melly Mel put out a statement saying she don't care what happened because this bill this law that Guyana signed is that anyone who living overseas and saying bad things about Guyana is going to be extradited. Check out the rest of the interview. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Persons, as persons who have materially assisted sponsors and, prov and, and provided financial, material, and technical support for or goods or services to or in support of corruption including the misappropriation of state assets, the expropriation of private assets for personal gain, taking away people's private land, etc. Corruption related to government contracts or extraction of national resources or bribery that is conducted by a foreign person. A whole lot of people type in this thing right here. They did the same thing to his father. They did the same thing to T. Muhammad's. They did the same thing to Hadith World, which is a company owned by, owned by the Muhammad's. And Thomas. As a result of today's, this is, continues, as a result of today's actions, all property and interest in property of the designated, designated persons described above that are in the United States or in the possession or control of U.S. persons are blocked, they're seized, and they must be reported to the Office of Foreign Asset Control. Now, here's the thing. Any person, any person or company company or entity that does business with any one of these entities or persons 
will also face U.S. sanction. Government guy, sorry. Thomas Azruddin, the father, Mohammed's Enterprise, Hadis, and Team Mohammed Racing. Now, this is some serious stuff right now. A lot of people go to jail for this. You cannot do business with some entity or person under U.S. sanction. So a lot of people will have to divorce themselves of any arrangement with the Mohammeds or with Thomas. I'm talking about banks, partners, companies, persons accepting gifts and donations. I mean, we know that Ashdeen Mohammed and his family, they're very generous. Can persons still continue to receive gifts and donations from this family and their companies without running a foul so viewers and subscribers this is Guyanese news leave your comment in the comment section concerning the breaking news is that a criminal entity a criminal organization involving three chinese national was dismantled in guyana by a raid at a city hotel where an illegal firearm and 39 million dollars in cash was confiscated three persons arrested there is more things going to happen with this investigation leave your comment in the comment section if you feel more than 39 million dollar was taken and the Guyana police force take a pay for themselves remember this is Guyanese news like subscribe and share